All right, we are live, guys. And uh, I honestly don't do videos that often that are live here on Everyday Tactical Vids. No real reason, but I just figured I'm gonna go for it today. So, uh, fair warning, uh, I'm up here in my studio and my son uh, is downstairs and he's got a uh, tutor, tutor who's working with him. So if by some chance it's like, oh man, I gotta split and go check that out. It is what it is, but that's the, that's the challenge of live. So you can see here in my studio, if you're watching after the fact, Got some everyday tactical vids, you know, fire starters, all that type of stuff over here. You can also see back here, kind of living some of my childhood over and uh, checking out G.I. Joe stuff again. So that's kind of fun. For today's unboxing, we just got our latest battle box. So we are going to unbox this and see what we got inside. And to do that, we're going to bust open my Benchmade. This is the mini barrage. Got this a while ago. This is a Cabela's exclusive with those blaze orange handles and uh yeah it's cool it's a little goopy right now because i haven't cleaned it in a while but it's still a great great edc knife great outdoor knife so there's that let's cut this box open see what we have inside we are uh closing in on 100 missions for battle box they've been doing this for a while um and uh yeah i've said this before but at this point they're probably my favorite uh subscription company that's still out there and that I've worked with. Uh, some of them have come and gone, but this one has stayed, so, so that's pretty cool. So we are on mission 95. Mission 95 right there. Let me see how many items we have in here. Um, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like six different items and some different codes as well as far as discounts and things like that. But there's your, your rundown, and we'll probably go back to that in a minute. Let's just start going through these different items. So actually, I'll use this to guide me through the process here. Item number one, AquaTabs, 375 milligram tablets times 100. So those are AquaTabs. That's going to be for purifying water, which is right there. All right, so you get AquaTabs. Value for this is, does it say? You know what? They did not put a value for this for in this uh, this month's box. That's kind of interesting. Usually they tell you how much, you know, the, the item costs or what the value is. They haven't done that with this. But these AquaTabs, this is AquaTabs water purific pur purification um, tablets are effective against Giardia cysts, bacteria, and viruses. There's some information on how to use them. There's 300 and what does this say? 67 milligram tablets times 100. So 100 tablets in there. That's your first item. I mean, that's a simple thing. These things last for a very long time. Uh, let's see if they have an expiration date on them. I don't see an expiration date. Oh, there we go, expiration 1023. So you got a whole year to uh, to use these basically and uh, great to have a way to purify uh, purify water, especially if you you know get into a situation where water's down in your town, your city, whatever it is. So that's our first item in this month's, month's battle box. Uh, number two, we have Wooks All-in-One Tactical Gear Cleaner. Now, let me tell you something when I think about gear cleaners and stuff like that. Um, is this it? I'm not sure if this is it. Tactical cleaning, cleaning kit. It's a cleaning kit. I'm a little meh on cleaning kits because I feel like I've gotten quite a few in, um, in subscription boxes. And um, it might be that, you know, I'm using so much different gear that I'm not always going back and cleaning everything up perfectly. Um, because, you know, if you've got like one knife that you use a ton, you're always cleaning, always taking care of it. I'm swapping out gear so often, so maybe that's the reason they're not as exciting to me. But that being said, um, let's check out this one. All right, so no value given for this one, but you got your, your cloth for cleaning. You do have a brush, which is nice. Um, feels basically just like a solid toothbrush like plastic, all-in-one tactical gear, clean, gear cleaner. I'm stumbling a lot tonight. Remove stubborn stains from any part of your survival and outdoor gear, ideal for wood and metal services. So they've got metal and they've got wood in the picture there. So that's what that looks like. Um, yeah, I mean, clean up your gear. It's always important to do that. You can put your gear on top of this as you're doing some of the scrubbing. You can obviously, obviously wipe it down. This is kind of like a chamois cloth type of thing. Um, comes in this box here, made in Italy and in the USA. That's our second item in this month's battle box. So there's item number two. Number three is the bone dry rust prevention handgun case, which is down here on the bottom. And uh, let me open this up. 
I seem to remember that this company, the, the way it works, yeah, I think there's actually stuff built into it to take the moisture out. So let me just read this real quick. Um, this product can dry and protect those items from rust, bone dry, rust prevention handgun is ideal for storing, transporting, and protecting your valuable items. It holds two handguns, up to 45 cal, five magazines, and a tool kit. Doubles as a utility storage case, 800 PVC nylon. Um, yeah, so let me just see. Can you dry them? Yeah, you can dry them off. But are they dry in the hard to reach places? Yes. So there's something about what's built into this case. I don't remember if there's like some sort of material that's inside there. It almost feels like maybe some of those little silica gel packets, but whatever it is, when you put your stuff in here, it helps actually wick all the extra moisture out. So that's, uh, that's our third item. And obviously you can use that to carry anything. It doesn't have to be metal objects. You can use it to carry whatever, whatever items you want. Um, looks like you can, you could, you could run a, a, a lock through the, the zipper loop there, but there is no actually a lock locking system um, for this. So this is not like a, uh, a gun case, but certainly a way to transport stuff. There's our third item. Item number four, which is gonna be for the, oh wait, I missed an item here. Camo Core Chamois Bundle. One field chamois, kitchen chamois, and chamois sponge. So Camo Cord, Camo, US Camo Core Chamois, right? So lightweight, super absorbent, durable. That's what they look like, different sizes. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna open up the field chamois and let's see what that one looks like. It's probably looks like it's gonna be the biggest. But it's basically a way to dry off you, your gear, whatever you want. Um, just pop that out there. Pop that out there. This guy's pretty big here. Does have a, uh, a carabiner. So we're looking at about, what's that? Two feet, maybe two and a half feet by a little bit less than a foot to dry your, you know, dry yourself off, dry your gear off, whatever it is. And then these these absorb really well and they dry really quickly as well. And you got three of them. So you got a kitchen one, you got a chamois sponge, which is just a straight up sponge. And the kitchen one, let's see if it says how big this one is. Doesn't say, let's see if we can compare the two. I'm guessing that the field chamois is the biggest one, but we'll see. Oh, these are two separate ones, all right. So for the kitchen, you get these two. For the field, you get that big one, and then you get the sponge, which is right there. I'll take it out just so you can see what it looks like. It, it's basically, a, oh, it looks like there's two sponges. Every step of the way, we're learning something. So two of these little sponges, and it looks like, you know, they're gonna, you're gonna use them and then dry them out really quickly, so. I'm headed out to the woods in like two weeks with a buddy of mine. So maybe I'll take these and give them a, give them a shot. See what we think about them. That's your next item. Um, doesn't, again, doesn't give you a cost for this, this item, but that's the next one. The, at the pro level, you're going to get the Climate Wild Aspen 20 sleeping bag. Let's just read the description real quick. Uh, Wild Aspen is thoughtful. The Wild Aspen 20 is thoughtfully designed for three season comfort. Uh, synthetic nylon, lightweight, temperature rating down to 20 degrees. Uh, our value is going to last for two years. Yeah, I have quite a few pieces of gear from Climate, and I do like them. So let's take a look at this guy right here. Climate, Climate, Climate. Pretty compact. It's not fully cinched down, but that's what it looks like, even when it's like partially cinched. Uh, the size is 74 by 30 inches, 2.5 pounds of the weight, rated down to 20 degrees. Water repellent, it's got a five, uh, 50, no, 50 D polyester shell. Real comfort, ideal for backpacking, car and tent camping. Obviously that's what it looks like. We'll take it out of the uh, stuff sack so you can see a little bit more. Again, like I said, I'm going headed out to the woods shortly with a buddy, not today, but like in the next uh, like two weeks from now, I think maybe or so. So maybe we'll take this guy and give it a give it a test. Um, three season, not a four season. Um, right now it is winter, obviously, if you're watching this as it's live or if you're watching just after the fact. Um, but that being said, we're having like a 50 degree day here. So this would be the type of weather where you could actually use a three season bag. So let's open this guy up. Let's see what it looks like. We got kind of a teal color here. It is a mummy style bag. That's what it looks like. Got some, just a little information on the bottom, warnings, etc., etc. 
So 72 inches is six feet. So 74 inches, six foot two. I'm actually six foot two, so this is gonna be snug on me, but I tend to kind of, you know, crunch up, curl up a little bit when I, uh, when I climb into a sleeping bag. So that's your next item at the pro level. Uh, now we got the Pro Plus level, which is the um, knife of the month. And for that one, make sure I get the name right here. The Resilience from Spider Co. with the FRN handle. Check it out. It's a big, that's a big knife right there. Look at that. Spider Co. Resilience. Partially serrated. Um, you know, at the at the lower level, you can pick up something in the Bird B Y R D family. As you get into Spider Co., you can move into the Tenacious. Obviously, the the uh, paramilitaries and the different sizes. This is definitely getting large. Um, that is a that's a big that's a big knife. That is just chunky. I mean, my, you, I got large size hands. When I hold it, when I hold it like this, you can see how much extra space I got there on the bottom. So that thing is for real right there. Kind of cool. Let me read the uh, description with my little notebook. Go oh, here we go. I want to give you the details as far as the uh, you know size, weight, all that type of stuff. So um, overall length 9.40, closed length 5.20. Uh, it's 8CR13 MOV with a full flat grind. Not a huge fan of the 8CR13, honestly. Better than some of the other CR steels out there, but um, I would choose something else, honestly, than than 8CR13. Uh, D2 is cool. I like D2, but. I'd go with something else like VG10. Love some VG10. Um, obviously, that would up the price a little bit. But there you go. That's your knife of the month from Spider Co. You get the uh, Spider Co. Resilience Light Weight. Does it actually give you the weight here? It does not. But don't worry. I got a scale right here. So let's check it out on the scale. Find out what it weighs. Put it down right there. On the scale, it's coming in at. 4.430 ounces, so almost four and a half ounces for this uh, big knife. For me, I'll tell you one thing about this size knife. This size knife with serrations, I actually don't mind the serrations because you have enough of an unserrated portion that you can use that effectively for cutting. Um, and then you got serrations for obviously when you want to use serrations. Um, it does take a little little kind of subtlety and nuance to learn to cut with just the, the plain edge portion and not bump down to the serrated portion. Because most times when you cut, you get your you get your object right kind of in at this level, right? But uh, when you have a blade that long, you can actually do both. So, so that's this month's battle box in about twelve minutes and forty seven seconds live. Uh, let me hear your thoughts. What do you like about it? What what items are good? What are not so good? If you own one of these guys, let me hear about that. I am a Spiderco fan. I don't own a ton of Spiderco knives. But um, if you have this knife, let's hear about it. Whether it's the lightweight or another version, let's hear about it. If you do own a Spider Co, tell us what you own as well. And um, yeah, feel free to leave comments about this unboxing. Uh, I always say this, but purpose of this is not a full review of every single item that's available. It's more so to tell you hey, these are the kind of items you could get if you subscribe to BattleBox. Four different levels from your basic all the way up to your Pro Plus. Pay more, get more, uh, get more gear and you know, you're paying X and you're getting X plus, plus, plus as far as value as you go up um, even higher in the um, in the different categories. For me, sleeping bag's a win. Um, three season sleep bag, sleeping bag is great. I'm trying to kind of outfit my family as well. So it's cool to have that. Um, this knife, I do like the knife. I do like spider I'm trying to think how much I'll use this because of the size. It could be an outdoor knife for me. Um, you know, something I carry when I'm headed out to the woods so that I can really, I can I have a folding knife that I can really, you know, work on and not, be scared about breaking it or something like that but um yeah i do think you know the the knife and the um the sleeping bag both wins for me the uh sh the little cleaning cloths and stuff that's fine uh the cleaning kit i would say that's fine aqua tabs is cool i wish aqua tabs lasted longer longer i didn't realize they only last whatever you know 10 months or something to the end of 2023 october 2023 so if they lasted longer that would be even better because then you could storm and then use them way in the future but definitely want to make sure you're using uh unexpired items from uh if you're purifying water so all right that's it let's hear your thoughts in the comment section and uh thanks for tuning into this video checking it out and uh as i always say more videos coming soon take care signing off where do we sign off here here we go